so hello everyone welcome to this new session so we have completed three modules of control system so today in this session we are going to start with the fourth module okay this is a very simple module okay it's very very simple you can understand the basics very well and you can solve the problems okay so the module uh, the name of the module is stability analysis okay stability module 4 stability okay in that mainly we are going to deal with this criteria that is roth hurwitz stability criteria okay this roth hurwitz are two different different uh, scientists okay and they have created this uh, criteria called as a roth hurwitz stability criteria which in the uh, in they were uh, partnership together and they had made this criteria okay so these two are two different different scientists ruth and hurwitz okay and in short we can call this as the rh criteria okay RH criteria okay so now what does this uh, RH criteria states let us see what this it state okay so this RH criteria states that the number of roots of the characteristic equation with positive real parts is equal to the number of changes in signs for the first column in the Routh array okay okay so let's discuss in brief what is the what are what are what is this Routh array and positive and negative real parts roots and all okay you might be knowing the term called as characteristic equation okay in generally the characteristic equation represents the denominator side of the transfer function okay whatever obtained in the denominator side of the transfer function that is our general characteristic equation okay and the uh, other part is that with positive real parts is equal to the number of changes in sign okay so we are going to study in brief about the route array here okay what does this route array mean okay so let's see first let us represent a characteristic equation let's see how this characteristic equation is represented that is the characteristic equation of nth order of the continuous system okay so how it is represented it is represented like this that is a n into s power n plus a n minus 1 into s to the power n minus 1 plus a and uh, it goes on up to a 1 s plus a naught okay for example you can give an example for a uh, characteristic equation that is s cube plus s square plus uh, 2s plus 2 equal to 0 okay so in this way you can uh, give an example for a simple characteristic equation okay that is it starts from the higher order degree okay that is s power n and uh, lower order degree means one order uh, one degree less that is n minus 1 so it would be s cube would be s square along with that one coefficient would be there for s and again from s square it reaches to s power 1 along with one coefficient and again it reaches from s power 1 to s power 0 that is again s power 0 is equal to 1 and also it has one coefficient okay so in this way one simple characteristic equation is represented okay so now what is the stability criterion okay so now let's see what is that that is the uh, representation of a route array how it is represented okay yeah so in this way a simple uh, route array is represented so you can see here we have drawn one uh, symbol like this okay one table small and here in the outside outer side of the table we have written all the powers of s that is s power n s power n minus 1 s power n minus 2 it goes on okay and here inside we have written all the coefficients okay that is coefficient means first we need to consider the coefficient of a power a power n okay after that we need to be considering the we need to skip one degree uh, coefficient and we need to check the other degree for example if you take a simple characteristic equation which you have taken that is s cube plus s square plus 2s plus 2 equal to 0 right we have taken here so if you want to write its coefficient inside this uh, table how we need to write is first uh, outer side what we can write how we can write that is s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 okay like this we can write here in outer side for this particular example I am saying okay all the uh, powers of s write it here like this in an order from s cube till s to the power 0 okay since the higher degree is s cube and the lower degree is s to the power 0 and after that here in the according to the table what they have given a power n sorry a a suffix n so that that is the first coefficient of s cube okay that the coefficient of s cube is 1 okay and after that a n minus 2 so n minus 2 means uh, 
so in here the value of s power n is s cube right so the value of n is 3 okay so n minus 2 represents 3 minus 2 that is the value of so n uh, 3 minus 2 is 1 so to s to the power 1 okay its coefficient we need to be writing okay we need we should not write the coefficient of a square okay we need to be skipping one part and we need to be writing coefficient of 1 after that or uh, s coefficient of s cube after that we need to be writing coefficient of s to the power 1 okay after that uh, this term again we need to be we should skip after that one more term it's not there so we can write it as 0 okay so in the next line what we should write is s square okay the coefficient of s square is again 1 and again skip one term that is s to the power 1 coefficient is already written so we should not write it again and after that again we are left with 2 so write that 2 then again 0 now what about this third row okay what uh, how, how we should write the elements in the third row okay that we need to be calculating okay in this way we need to be calculating that is b1 okay here in this case generally they have taken b1 b2 b3 so how to calculate this b1 okay though the calculation is simple that is a n minus 1 into a n minus 2 minus a n into a n minus 3 that is this into this we need to multiply first minus this into this we need to multiply divided by this term only in order to find b1 okay Again, I'm telling a n minus 1 into a n minus 2 multiply first minus a n into a n minus 3 multiply those two terms divided by this term that is a n minus 1 in order to calculate b1. Okay. Similarly, if you want to calculate b2, same thing that is we need to that is we need to skip this whole row that is these two rows we need to skip that is first multiply a n minus 1 into a n minus 4 that is these two we need to multiply minus a n into a n minus 5 divided by a n minus 1 again okay so this same term we need to be dividing for all of them so for you know for for that uh, in that way we can find the value of b2 same goes with b3 okay again a n minus 1 into here some uh, some terms would be there that will to multiply minus a n into here one term would be there divided by again a n minus 1 that would be getting the answer of b3 okay so in this way we can find the elements of the next row okay by using the first two rows okay similarly in order to calculate uh, if now we have found the elements like let's consider we have found some elements here if now you want to calculate the elements in this row same thing by using the previous two rows we need to calculate okay the same procedure that is these two we need to multiply minus these two whatever the answer we have uh, uh, whatever the answer we have got we need to divide by this term which we have got that is b1 that only answer with whatever we get that's that would be our value of c1 okay same thing for c2 this term into this term divided by uh, minus this term into this term okay if you multiply uh, and divide by the same term b1 we would be getting the answer of c2 also so that's all they have written here see b1 into a n minus 3 minus a n minus 1 into b2 divided by b1 in order to calculate c2 b1 into a n minus 5 minus a n minus 1 into b3 divided by b1 they would, uh, it, we would be getting the answer of c2 so in this way a standard routh array is represented using the coefficients and the powers of s okay so hope you understood this this is very very important okay this whole module consists of this uh, route array only we need to be knowing how uh, just properly how to draw the route array okay so here is a uh, are the few examples okay of route array so in order to make you clear about this concept let's see a few examples so the question here is examine the stability of the given equation using routes method okay so here they have given two sub questions so the first question they have given f of s is equal to this is one characteristic equation s cube plus s square plus 11s plus 6 you can see it is from the higher degree and it goes till test to the power 0 okay so here for, for the first uh, example they have simply drawn one route array you can see here they have started first they have written all the uh, powers of s in the outer side of the table that is s cube s square s power 1 up to s power 0 okay and inside see what they have written the coefficients of the first first row that is 1 11 0 how they have written see first write the coefficient of s cube that is 1 okay then after that skip this term skip the degree s square okay 
then again write that the uh, after skipping that the write the coefficient of s that is 11 and again skip this term and again after 6 since there is no term so they have written it as 0 here same goes with the second row elements that is s square first write the coefficient of s square skip one term then write the coefficient of the next term that is 6 okay then again skip one uh, there is since there is no term again in the after 6 so it, this would be 0 then again s to the power 1 in order to calculate this we need to be using these two rows the previous two rows that is in order in order to calculate this 10 so let's generally take b1 uh, 10 whatever we've got as b1 that is let's take this as b1 so first what we need to do it we need to be doing 6 into 11 minus 1 into 6 divided by this term 6 okay so uh, if we solve this we would be getting our answer as 10 so that's why i've written here 10 same goes with if you want to calculate this term 6 into 0 6 into 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 6 so 6 into 0 1 into 0 that is 0 by 6 that's again 0 so I have written here it as 0 okay same goes with the in order to calculate uh, the 6 value so we need to be using the previous two rows that is these two rows again same thing multiply 10 into 6 minus 6 into 0 so 10 into 6 minus 6 into 0 divided by 10 okay so the answer we are getting is 60 minus 0 60 by 10 is 6 okay so that's why i've written here it as 6 so this in this way i have calculated the route array and in order to check the stability of the given system whether it's stable or unstable what we need to be doing is after calculating the route array we need to be checking the first column okay check the first column of the route array if there are no sign changes that is if for example here in this case all the terms in the first column are positive okay if there are no sign changes in the first column of whatever we have calculated for route array then we can say that the system is stable okay the system is in stable state okay so in this way they would be giving the question that they you should examine the stability of the given character system uh, since and after that they would be giving one characteristic equation draw a route array and after that whatever answer you get check the first column of the route array if there is no sign change then you can see that the system is stable okay if there are sign changes in the first column that is with this is the first column here in this case all the terms are positive so there is there is no sign change all the terms are positive so the system is stable if in case one or one of the sign is uh, negative for example let's take this one first column only that is 1 6 11 and 6 this is the first column and here let's see this is plus plus minus and plus okay so if if we have like this so here you can see that there is one sign change here that is this term is equal to minus 11 okay so whenever we have a sign change in the first column of the route array after calculating the route array then we can say that the system is unstable okay so if the system is unstable we need to be uh, calculating how many roots does it have okay or how many poles does it have that how how to calculate that poles is so here using the first column only we need to be counting the number of sign changes okay how many number of sign changes are there that many number of roots would be present in that uh, system okay but that system is said to be unstable okay since we have a sign change so in this case you can see that plus to plus there is no sign change and here you can see that from plus it has changed to minus so there is one sign change okay and again from minus it has turned to plus so there is two sign changes right first don't think that uh, only plus plus minus and plus since there is only one minus here so there is only one sign change no we should not be seeing like that here from plus to minus there is a one sign change and again from minus it is turning to plus so there are two sign changes so whenever the system is unstable so we, we can be saying that there are we, uh, we would be having two roots on the right half of the s plane okay so we know that whenever the system is uh, unstable the roots would be lying on the right half of the s plane okay and whenever the system is said to be stable we know that the roots always they would be lying lying in the left half of the s plane or the imaginary axis okay so in this way a simple uh, stability of route array is calculated so that's all for this session hope you understood uh, the concepts of uh, route array 
so in the next session we would be seeing few more uh, rules of uh, raw theory calculation and uh, a few important problems also so that's all please like share subscribe and also refer our playlist uh, the model question paper solutions we have provided to you all so if you want you can refer that as well please uh, uh, refer that and share it to your friends so that's all thank you like share subscribe guys